G'day guys, this is Coley from Kayaks to Fish and today we're going to have a quick look at the pre-production model of the NextGen 11.5. We'll start from the forward section of the kayak and move our way back. So let's look at straight away, the grip handle. Perfect. Plenty of, plenty of sort of like grip ability here, you don't have to worry about toggle ropes or anything, it is a firm, firm hand grip. We have this bungee cord here which is perfect for your two piece paddle to slide under to keep it sort of out of the way. We then look straight away at a cavernous hatch area. You can either convert this to a, to a, a holding slurry or just for those camping adventures. We then have the rails down the front. We are looking at an option down the track of looking at a sail mount. We then move into the deep section of the kayak. What we see here are the foot pegs. The foot pegs will be an option. They won't be part of the final production. It'll be an option if you want to run your electric motor and using this as rudder control. So we come down into this grip pad area. There will be a lot of grip pad options for this model. We then move into the max drive area here. We have improvements to the locking mechanism to hold it in place. Plus we have improvements to the actual locking mechanism itself. Coming through to the seat section, our seat here has three positions. Again, we've listened to the customer and giving them what they're seeking. Underneath the seat here, we have storage. An option will be a slide out tray. Plenty of room for you to store items in whilst out on the water. and it will slide away out of the road for ease. We see here, we see the ergonomically designed hand grips, which gives you good control of your kayak, along with built-in drink holders. They are on the left and right hand side. Then we look straight away into the hand control of the rudder. Simple and easy to use. Looking at the back of the kayak, we see here still more storage. You put yourself a kayaks to fish backpack bag onto the back of here, again, you have storage to burn. As you're looking here, we see the two markers here where you can put your kayak trolley along with two rear sighted rod holders. We look straight away and we see the electric motor mount that comes standard with our kayaks. The big plus, storage again. Massive area where you can either put your rod straight down through the hull or mount your FPV batteries for your electronic devices. Looking through here, we have again more rails and massive storage area. The highlight we want to really show people is the fact that it is a diversified kayak that can have electric motor mountings or other mountings placed on the rear of the kayak. Finishing off the top here, again, we have a large grab handle, which is perfect for moving your kayak about. Putting it in perspective though, this kayak is just as heavy as the next gen 11 itself. Now let's look underneath the hull. What you see here is the modifi modified trimaran hull from the forward to the of the kayak moving our way down, we see where the max drive is mounting along with the transducer plate. Moving further down the kayak, we have the skid plate uh, for that drag points when you have to get them up onto the trolleys. And then we see the new design rudder and the grab points. These grab points are very, very handy when it comes to lifting your kayak up onto a higher trailer. Releasing the rudder system, it's as simple as the old Mark II system and then you see the rudder in place. With the depth of this rudder, it'll give you better turnability and more stability when it comes to your turns. The control of it is quite simple. It's using the external hand rudder control, giving you a lot of authority when it comes to the movement of your kayak rudder. And to summing it up, that's just a quick look at the new NextGen 11.5. As you can see, we've added features, we've listened to the customers, and we've made this what we consider to be the most affordable kayak model in its range. When it comes to the production model itself, there will be slight changes, so keep an eye out for updated videos as they come to you. For any questions, just shoot us through a message, and we'll do our best to answer it for you. Have a good weekend, and tight lines.